In a typical election year, voters may only see three to five elections. Last year, Bear County held 14. It's gotten out of hand, and it's been out of hand for a while. Bear County Commissioner Paul Elizondo is concerned that there are so many special elections and runoffs that are required by some antiquated state statutes. Texas requires a majority vote, 50% plus one. But Elizondo thinks plurality, or even an appointment in some cases, would work better. Case in point, just this month, voters picked two people, Laura Thompson and Lou Miller, to fill Ruth Jones McClendon's former House District 120 seat through the end of the year. They will head to a runoff. But in a seemingly redundant move, voters also picked two other candidates, Barbara Gervin Hawkins and Mario Salas for a runoff for the regular two-year term starting next year. Bear County Elections Administrator Jackie Callanan can't remember a situation like this happening before. So within two weeks of each other, they're getting notices and having the ability to vote for two separate sets of people for two pieces of the same office. Each election costs about $110,000. Multiply that by the number of specials and runoffs and taxpayers supported more than $1 million on elections last year. State Senator Jose Menendez, who won his seat in a couple of runoff elections himself, says he'd be glad to bring this up at the legislature. It would also be uh, fiscally prudent and positive for the taxpayer. Elizondo and the commissioners agree. Ryan Lloyd, KSAT 12 News. Well, he... Uh...